Hello viewers, Ed Shanahan back from the Unexplained World here bringing you another look, another tour of a location. Let's first start out with we're going to go backwards in my presentation to you and bring you something that's historical haunting location. People have seen stuff but as I said, we're walking backwards. We're working backwards on this. We're going to show you the burial spot first of two famous Chicago mis mystery deaths and paranormal locations. So, so I'm again in Holy Sepulchral Cemetery. Also the location of Mayor Daly's gravesite and as I've shown on a past video, Chicago's Miracle Child, Mary Alice Quinn. But right here I'm going to show you the headstone of two, two very sad Sad by the way of the way they died. Individuals. Headstone. Gravesite. The Grimes sisters. As you can see, Barbara and Patricia Grimes are buried here. One was 15, the other was 13. And what brought them to their timely death, nobody yet knows. But where they were found, I will show. The Grime sisters, they were just going out to venture to go see Love Me Tender when it made it to the movie theaters. Elvis Presley's Love Me Tender movie, but they never made it there. This is the where their final resting spot allegedly is. But the stories told may tell something different. Hello viewers, I'm giving you a, a rare treat. I'm taking you, let me turn on the radio. I'm taking you on the way to where the Grimes sisters were found. But on, on my way there, I'm going to give you a, a treat and show you the cemetery and other places where resurrection, this is a cemetery where Resurrection Mary comes from is, and is buried. I will give you more of a view of it. I will even pull up to the gates. in a second. Okay, we're on uh, historic Archer Avenue Road. And this is the this is the one near Resurrection Cemetery where Resurrection Mary people have said they've seen her. And I will take you up to the gates. Let me also recommend, highly recommend highly highly recommend that nobody do what I'm doing driving with the camera held to one eye while looking out the other okay this is one of the gates to Resurrection Cemetery it's not open at this time you see the big old sign no trespassing okay let's see if we can find the other gate there's a huge huge mausoleum and that's all stained glass windows so Okay. Okay, I'm turning in to the area that you would pull into the Resurrection Cemetery. <clears throat> now I'm not going to go around, not on this trip, anyways, recording it, but just giving you a view of it. Okay, where you would turn in, turning around. And these are the gates that had fingerprints 
<clears throat> of a person and the gates were bent and as I scan over <clears throat> and zoom in I believe those were the gates they've been painted over and stuff like that but as you can see they there's a bending in the gates it would almost be at the level of somebody's hands a small woman's and there were fingerprints in them at one time so this is Resurrection Cemetery and that's the road back on to Archer Avenue okay and we'll give you more of a tour of Archer too on the way to the Crime Sisters now here is more of the cemetery as you can see as I drive by it it is a huge huge cemetery Resurrection Cemetery so that's more of it now I'm going to show you a cemetery that's even eerier to me than well resurrection isn't at all but this is called Bethania Bethania Cemetery right next to resurrection and let me tell you heebie jeebies going in there for sure and wandering around okay and that's also on Archer Avenue. It's what I call the Archer Triangle. So the Paranormal Triangle, the southwest side. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking you into the historic, paranormal, basically city, if you want to call it that, of Willow Springs, Illinois. As you can tell, we're still on Archer Avenue. This used to be an Indian tra travel. This is the land. This is a road. This is the way the Indians would travel here on the southwest side and into Willow Springs. The weather changed. It's been, uh, been rainy since I left the Grimes Sisters at Holy Sepulchre. Their uh, burial plot. It's been it's it's been raining on and off. So now you're in beautiful Willow Springs on Archer Avenue, as I said. A lot of activities in this area. To get a, a nice tour of the location, locations I should say, if you're in the Chicagoland area, hauntedchicago.com tours by Ursula. She's put out books on the area and everything. I highly recommend her tours and who knows maybe I'll be participating in one or two of them in the future. But right now this is Archer Avenue and I'll point out a couple locations for you, a couple I will stay away from. This is on our way to the Grimes Sisters area where they were found dead. And as you can tell, it is a nice, nice town, okay? So, I took one of the side streets, let's give you more of a view of Willow Springs area. Nice historical nice Victorian houses, nice big houses okay and beautiful area as I said and it's, it's hills willow trees and stuff like that basically named for Willow Springs it's been uh, I think in the 1800's this area was developed or started to uh, people started to settle in here so the early 1800's but we drive down one of the streets, take some views. It's very, very nice. It's it's like a home for me. I keep on being drawn to this area, Willow Springs. Okay, very, very nice area. So, as I said, it's been raining. It's getting a little foggy in here, but <clears throat> this is kind of like the back roads, as I said, of Willow Springs area so and it looks like they got an election coming up but as you can see all Victorian houses and stuff like that many of the house many of the houses out here <clears throat> are built off of Archer Avenue are built up on the hills and stuff a lot of old houses and as you can see 
That's a little bit of the Willow Springs Archer Avenue road and what you may see if you came down here. This is one location here in Willow Springs that we've come to. It's called the Old Willow. It's called the Old Willow Shopping Center, Shopping Mall, little mall over here. And as you can see, there's a banquet castle that I've, uh, me and Deanna have done readings in. And back there in the woods, back there in the woods, it's very, very active. But you gotta go back there, find the creek. As you may notice, I'm cutting in, a, in and out, out a lot on this video. It's, uh, try not to be suspicious. <laughs> And but the fact is, once in a while a uh, police car drives by or somebody's standing somewhere, and don't want to be caught with this uh, camera in driving at the same time. Even though I'm using, you know, both eyes, one through the camera and one, you know, just watching the road. Over here is what they call Ashbury Coffee House. I got published in one of the paranormal books, and it's very haunted, and you go look at more of about it on our website theunexplainedworld.com okay I'm going to be pulling out of Old Willow and as you can see the bridge I'm going to be crossing and that will take me to German Church Road and that will lead us to the area where the Grime Sisters were found dead oh, and so we're basically right now at Archer Avenue and Willow Springs Road Now as I take you over the bridge, I'm going to take you a, a detour real fast to a very hardly known location. But for those who are spiritual, who are into the Indians, Indian lands, sacred lands, let me just say, this is probably the most, I don't know, spiritual place that I've come across as far as to deal with the Indians, Native Americans. It's called Forest Preserve Columbia Woods. And as you can see, <clears throat> this is the canal. This area used to be used for traders, trading, the, uh, I guess, how, what do I want to say? A lot of tradings between uh, Native Americans and used to go on in this area. They would use this area to travel to get through the state or decide this, this part of the state anyways. It's called Columbia Woods. Matter of fact, they have reenactments in this area dedicated to the trading and stuff. We've had some rain. It's, it's the beginning of spring. That's why a lot of this land is overrun with water. But as you can see, you know, they would park their canoes. Fur traders, etc. would come in. They trade with the Native Americans. Foods, goods, and stuff like that. Sometimes I come out here myself just to, I don't want to call it meditating, but just to let my mind flow with nature, touch base with nature. But it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, we could canoe right up to the curb here. This is usually, as you can see the guys out there fishing, this is usually uh, used, you know, it doesn't come up this far to water. But it looks like nature's kind of uh, taken back, huh? What is hers? So maybe it's a good idea I got in here. We're expecting more rain. <clears throat> but, yep. As you can see, there's a big forest preserve. 